we have varieties of people every human is busy in some or other work even little birds are busy ants are busy every human is busy some people are focused in that work and they are busy they don't bother with others they are doing their job well some are such who are free <coughs> maybe um, food and all the rest of the things are taken care of by their parents or whatever it is they are little free and they create enough amount of problems with others because they have no goal in life <coughs> they look at others they want to find faults in others they want to pick up things from others without even asking they would take away things from others they just live exist they don't even think thinking and doing action that is the way we should live whatever action we do i should know why am i doing what is the purpose behind it but people don't <coughs> so they end up irritating people they they are labeled as irritating personalities there was a man who was a very saintly nice person living in a small little room but near his room there was another man who was a landlord of that area he lived and he somehow didn't like this man because these people used to come to meet him he was a wise person and he didn't like this man he was getting irritated by him so he built up toilets right in front of that man's door front door two toilets over there for outsiders to use or for his servants to use and he saw to it that toilets are never kept clean dirty smelly so whenever this man would get out of the house that smell and that was that can bother anybody and that was the scenario so this man would put a napkin in on his handkerchief in his nose and he would walk out he was a nice boy so he never ever argued he told that person that toilets are smelling and he said toilets are there no they are going to smell what is it what is so great about it and that's how so he managed it himself you manage your emotions yourself so he did like that but then it happened and every time this man would look at this fellow that how he is getting disturbed you want to disturb others and that was this personality and then it happened that uh, one day he got sick and this man felt that why somebody to laugh at him is not there today he went to meet him and he was very sick and he attended to him he showed that he may be irritating him but you don't get irritated he says look i am bothering you so much yet you are behaving so well with me he says you are doing your job that's your nature i am doing my job it's my nature and uh, you are not really creating any problem i have to just put a handkerchief on my nose and i am managing what is wrong in that that's the behavior understand in life we will meet people who are going to irritate you and they will really bother you they will talk any nonsense about you anything about you they would behave any way they would purposely come on the way so that either you fall down or you get a bit shocked they can do anything now that's like a challenge that someone wants to irritate you and you still want to maintain your own cool your own balance your own level headedness if somebody has irritated you then he has already won the over you he is already boss your boss you have become your his servant somebody can get bring anger in you somebody can bring uh, irritation in you then what are you nothing don't behave like that you should be prepared that in world all such varieties are there and you should be able to uh, manage with them what they are they are it's their concern what i am i am nobody can irritate me i should not get irritated and so that decision if we have taken in our mind i am sure we'll be able to handle such people and i very often feel that we could foresee the problem there was one girl who told me that whenever my auntie comes in the house she talks nonsense about me anything she cooks stories about me that i am roaming around with boys and doing this and that and when nothing is so true but that auntie then corrodes my parents mind and then they behaves they behave very 
toughly with me. I hate my auntie. I said, well, this is not the way to hate anybody. You should know how to manage her. So when she comes, you should be there in the house. She says, I don't want to be in the house. I told her, you should be there in the house. And you must have so many nice stories to talk, crack jokes, so that that auntie has no chance to talk. You only talk. You bring some food, such a food that she has to chew more, you know, <laughs> and she has less chance to talk. And be with uh, her, show that you are happy with her, you don't run away from her. Show for some time and then leave the house. Make it very much clear that nobody can irritate you, nobody can cause anger in you. You know how to manage the whole show. So try this out. Life is very interesting, I tell you, because so many varieties are there, so life becomes still more colourful. But uh, you should know how not to get carried away, not to get bothered and carry on your life happily. Enjoy life.